Hello, how is everyone doing? It is your fallen angel, back with another video. Today, we are going over timing your magic with the planets. Now, we need to recognize that the planets have influence over everything in this cosmos. Man is a microcosm within nature, and the nature around us is the macrocosm. The planets have a great influence. Many people understand this. Many billionaires understand this. Many Kabbalists understand this. Many Hindu worship understand this. Many understanding of the light body recognize this. So, we have to recognize that many planets have benefic influence. And many planets have malefic influence as well. So without further ado, we shall begin. Like the Void of Course Moon. Feel free to check out the Void of Course Moon if you don't know what that is on this channel as well. Like the Void of Course Moon, there are times when the energies of the universe are working against us. When certain planets retrograde, the planets and what they represent throw contrary energies. So, when the planets retrograde, what happens is certain malefic things may happen dependent on the planets or certain benefic things can work in your favor dependent on the planets everything in this cosmos works off bioelectricity your whole body is bioelectricity there is a bioelectric sphere of taurus energy right around you this is your auric body there is bioelectric energy off everything so when we talk about magic of any sorts black magic of any sorts whether you're focusing on a sigil a seal or just a candlelight your energy is being emitted into this with your bioelectricity even if you are touching a crystal you can put and store negative or positive what we know as malefic or benefic energy into anything when mercury is retrograde workings to acquire knowledge truth intellect to pass exams, and everything related to the mind, communication, travel, education, literary, electronics, and everything else ruled by Mercury, the odds are greatly against the success of such things. Performing spells, magic, related to these things will more than likely result in failure. So we must be very, very understanding of when mercury is in retrograde because spells and magic for these sorts may often fail when venus is retrograde this is not a good time for love relationships commitment artistic pursuits and so on love spells will inevitably fail or result in disaster wait until the period is over so if you're trying to work on a love spell, a commitment spell, you're working with a spirit, potentially a demon, you're working with sigils, seals, whatever it may be at the moment, it will be not wise to do a love spell for more than likely it will remain dormant or something worse may potentially happen. With Mars retrograde, this is not the time to perform spells of revenge or violence, or black magic. They can rebound and backfire. Mars, we know, is also one of the malefic planets. As the universe is working in reverse, spells for bringing peace and harmony, as in one's family, are aided at this time. Wait until the retrograde is over with to begin any spells of this sort. Knowing an enemy's date of birth you can work black magic with the energies in their chart. Whenever someone has a retrograde and Saturn period, we all have this. You can direct the negative energy to your own purposes for revenge. Now, I say this quite often, but <clears throat> you must avoid putting personal information on the Internet so easily. Do not give out your birthday. I know everyone wants to let everyone know their birthday yes guys it's my birthday this is when i was born etc etc but 
for the forces that understand bioelectricity, for the forces that know black magic, it is not always in your best interest to put your date of birth anywhere without knowing someone that truly doesn't have any animosity towards you. So it's essential to understand this because when someone knows your birth chart, they look up your natal chart quite easily. They can see the energies that's going around. They can see. They can check what planets are having direct influence on you, whether it be malefic or benefic. And they can use this to their advantage just simply by meditating. The body is quite powerful. The bioelectric power within this body is quite imminent. So be, be care, care, curious. Be very careful. Be very diligent in how you portray yourself on the internet. On the internet, it seems people like to be an open book, but this may be their demise. The universe is working against this person during a bad Saturn transit. Saturn retrograding over personal planets through the first house or to a lesser extent on the progress planets. This is the worst time of one's life. Saturn, as we know, is the greatest malefic of all the planets in this cosmos. The worst of all is Saturn retrograde on the chart ruler. You can only know this by knowing the birth time. So guys, the birth time will be essential if you want to do anything within the Saturn retrograde, which is the worst of all the malefic planets in black magic. This will only be able to work if you know the exact time frame, right? Now, this may be a little bit more difficult to receive, but with the tactics you learn on this channel, whether it be cunning, persuasion, narcissism, Machiavellianism, a little bit of psychopathy, you can get anything you desire in this cosmos. With that being said, we'll move further. On the other hand, retrograde, Jupiter, is a blessing. Jupiter retrograde over a loved or desired one's Venus. Same with Uranus, Neptune, or Pluto. Concerning love, a love spell in directing these energies can be most effective during this time. Jupiter, we know, is a greater benefic. So in this times, whether this be love spells, whether this be money spells, for things of this nature, positive things, Jupiter is in retrograde, is going to be in your best interest. Retrograde Jupiter over your personal planets, love spells, money, success, promotions, and everything else can come in abundance with the proper direction. Retrograde Jupiter is where we luck out and have opportunities. Taking control of this period and directing the energies will result in our success. With that being said, guys, this has been another video going over the timings of magic with the planets. It's essential to time these up with the planets, whether they be in retrograde or not. This will be more affluent for your magical spells. So with that being said, feel free to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Check us out on Patreon, Rumble, Twitter, Instagram, things of that nature. This has been your Fallen Angel, and I am out.